Hey, what's going on today? Today we're going to be going over the MPVacious and MPV tutorial. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, please go watch those first. The first one is Yomi-chan and TTU, and then there's the introduction video for the tools that I'm going over. So with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, we're back in the virtual computer. Go ahead and search up the MPV um, video player uh, as well. Everything's going to be down below in the description, so you can go ahead and do that as well. But we're going to go to mpv.io. We're going to go ahead to go to installation. Then for Windows, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, SourceForge page. Unfortunately, I am a Windows user and a Windows 10 user specifically. So um, that is how this these tutorials are going to be going. But most of it does actually work with Mac from what I know as well. Um, so what we're going to go do here is go ahead and go over to the 64 bit installation and then we're going to go to the latest one um, and click this top folder. So give it about five seconds. You're going to want to download it and then we'll go from there. All right. So now we have it downloaded. We're in the downloads folder and you can see that it is a 7z file. So you're going to need a specific opener for this to do it. Um, it won't it won't open with the standard Windows. Uh, application so let's go ahead and look for an app in the microsoft store we're going to go ahead and download 9zip or 7z so i like to use 9zip it's free then we're going to go ahead and click get no thanks go ahead and click install and then you don't need to sign in um but you should be signed in if you're not on a virtual computer all right so once it's done it's going to have a notification that pops up and then you can go ahead and click launch but you don't really need to um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to double click into it. Now that we have it installed, it's going to use it. All right. And so once it's open, just go ahead and click out as possible, pop up, click cancel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extract all. So what we want to do is, um, in this downloads folder, uh, go ahead and click new and we're going to name it MPV. If you don't do that, it's going to extract it all into the downloads folder. And then you're going to have to do the same thing anyways. Um, go ahead, double click into MPV, select folder, and it's going to extract and take everything about out of this 7z file. All right, once it's done, we can go ahead and close out of 9zip. We don't need it anymore. And now we have this MPV folder where MPV is. So now what we're going to do is, um, first of all, you have to make sure you're on an administrative account so that you can um, do this properly. Then we're going to go ahead and right click and cut. Go ahead and navigate to this PC. Go ahead, go to your local C, go to your program files, and then we're going to copy and paste into program files. Continue. That's why I said you need administrative access. Go ahead, double click into MPV, and it, I can, it can actually work right here as a just standalone app. Um, it may give you this, so just go ahead and uh, click that um, extras more info run anyway and it's going to pop up. Uh, it's got a Christmas hat because it's it's Christmas time now. But we don't want to do that. So we want to have it to where we can run it um, from anywhere on the computer. So what we're going to do is go to installer and we're going to install MPV onto the system. So go ahead and uh, right click run as administrator for the install. And it's going to install it. Um, click yes. It's going to add all these files and then it's going to allow you to run MPV as a Windows media player as an option. All right. And so once it's done with that, uh, we're going to go ahead, open the the control panel, click any key. And then what we're going to do is set your default programs. And what I like to do is set my default viewer as MPV because it's just an overall good player. So I set the video player as MPV. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Now we're done with that. To do a couple of things with MPV, we're going to need to do some environment variable things. Um, this is important for the uh, later upcoming things. So what we're going to do is go to the search down here and click CMD. And then what we're going to do is type MPV. So it says MPV is not recognized as an internal or external command. So we're going to add MPV to the systems path variable. So bear with me and just follow along. So what you're going to want to do is right click MPV, go ahead, click properties, and you can see this file locations here. Go ahead, drag this over to some other part of the screen. And inside the search bar, we're going to search up environment variables, and this is going to pop up. Um, if you're on Windows 11, this should work 
pretty much the same. With that, go ahead and click environment variables. Inside of here, you want to go to your path, edit, and now we're going to go to new. So go ahead, click new, and we're going to copy and paste that into our environment variable for the path. Click OK, and then click OK, click OK, click OK. So now if we go to CMD command prompt, now if we type in MPV, boom, now it works. So now that it works, um, we verify that we can use it in the CMD and we can open up videos. So let's go ahead and try to open up a video. I have a video on my desktop and you can see that it can open up in the MPV player. So if I double click on it, it's going to open up and here we are. And some quick things, I would really learn how to use the MPV um, keybinds and the, the shortcuts. So if you go back over to program files, go into your MPV, go to dock, double click into this MPV bindings page and you can find all of the bindings um, for it. So there's a lot to go on here, so I'm not going to be here for long, but just go over this so that you're familiar with how to use MPV. MPV is a video player that doesn't have any controls on here, so you have to do everything from the keyboard, but it makes life um, much easier and it's a very clean and fast video player. All right, and the last thing we need to do with MPV is we need to in, we need to do a configuration file for it. So go what you're going to want to do is open your file browser, go to the search bar, type in app uh, percent app data percent. And that's going to bring you over to your roaming file. Double click into MPV and this folder is going to be empty. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead and do new. We're going to create a scripts folder. This is going to be for MPVacious. And then go ahead, click new. We're going to go ahead and create a text document. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to call it mpv.con. C O N F. What we're going to do now is um, I'm just going to provide you what you I'm just going to provide this here. There are some options here that you can change. Uh, so this is the font. This is the font that I use. This is the font size. And these are scale by these are scaling the subtitles by the size of the window and then save position on quit. I put to yes. So if you exit a video, um, it's going to restart that video at the same position. So go ahead, click save. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And it's see how it still says that it is a text document. We don't want that here. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead, go over to view and we want to click file name extensions here. So um, Windows 11, Windows 10, uh, this is very important. You have to make sure the file extensions are shown. So file name extensions, you need to make sure is, is checked. And then you, know, you can just check hidden items as well. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, it is different here than what we need. So we need it to be a configuration file. So delete this dot text. And now it's going to do this pop up click yes and now you can see it's a conf file so you can still double click and open this up um, always use this app to open .com file notepad works just fine so here we are all right and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install that font that i had so go ahead search up noto serif regular font noto serif japanese it is a google font um, and then we're going to go ahead and download the download the family all righty right click show in folder here we are. Let's go ahead and extract all. Alrighty. And once we're done extracting, what we're going to do is uh, drag this other window um, next to it. And we're going to go and if you don't have another window, just go ahead, right click, click File Explorer, open up another window, go to this PC, go to Local C, go to Windows, and then we're going to go into the Fonts folder. So here we have a bunch of fonts. Let's go ahead and show it as details. And then we're going to go ahead and drag and drop all of these into here. It's going to install all of the fonts and then we'll be able to use this Japanese font. And then let's just go ahead and make sure to see that it works. So I'm just going to add MPV to the taskbar real quick. Um, search up MPV, pin the taskbar. I already have it here. And so here we have it. Let's go ahead and click it. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the video into here. And then now you can see um, that it's displaying the font. Let's go ahead and mute it. All right, as you can see, now it is playing and you can see the font is there. It's correct, it's Japanese. So 
let's exit out of here. Let's go ahead and go to MPVacious and let's get MPVacious installed. If you just want to use MPV as a watcher with the subtitles, uh, you don't have to follow this step, but I highly recommend you get MPVacious installed so that you can use the clipboard monitor to look things up and sentence mine. So let's go ahead and search up MPVacious on Google. Everything's going to be down below in the, in the description. Let's go ahead and click into the GitHub page. And what we're going to want to do is scroll down to, to this, um, to this where it says manually. So let's go ahead and download the repository. It's going to download at mpvaciousmaster.zip. So, um, unless you know how to do all the installation, I'm not going to bother with doing Git or any of these commands that you can run it and install it. We're just going to go ahead and manually install it. That means you have to manually update it, but I don't really update mine too often. So go ahead, right click and now go into your downloads. Let's go ahead and extract it. So um, once you have it extracted, um, double click into it. Now this is very important. So double click into MPVacious Master. Go ahead, cut. Go back out to your downloads. Go ahead and now paste. So now I just moved it one level higher. So when we double click into it, we have all of these already. So now that we've got MPVacious Master, what we're going to do is let's go ahead, cut. Let's go ahead and navigate to app data percent. Or if you had that previous file window open, you can just go from there. Uh, MPV is now in the scripts folder. We're going to double click into it and then paste. So. Now we have the MPVacious script and it should be working. So that is simply how you get the MPVacious script working. Um, we do need one additional thing though. We need Anki Connect. However, we can't get Anki Connect um, unless we have Anki. So that's going to be in the following video where we install Anki Connect for MPVacious. Um, but let's just go ahead and see if MPVacious works for MPV right now. Let's go ahead and navigate into MPV. Um, what you're going to want to do is click the tilde button of your keyboard. This is going to show the terminal for MPV. So if anything is wrong here, it's going to tell you. So, so that's very important for debugging. But let's just go ahead and, and click the tilde. Let's go ahead and click escape. Click A a couple of times. And then back to the tilde, it's going to say no key binding found for A. And that's an example of a of a bug that could occur. But um, one thing with MPVacious is it doesn't work unless you're running a video. So that is one thing you have to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and now drag a video into here. And then click A. And now we can see that we have our MPVacious options here. I'll go over all of that in the sentence mining workflow um, in the last video once we have all of the stuff installed. And one thing about MPVacious, in order for it to work, you have to have it open. So if, say for example, I click A and it's not open, it's not going to work. So what I like to do is I like to make MPVacious smaller. So let's go ahead and change the font size of MPVacious. So let's go ahead and go into scripts. We're going to go ahead and go over into the main.lua. Notepad, sorry, subs to SRS Lua. All right, and so we're going to be opened up in here. Uh, go ahead and do control F and we're going to search up font. So it's going to bring you down to here. And then let's go ahead and change um, the font size over to 10. As well, show selected text. This is a new feature that um, that isn't on the one that I use, but let's just go ahead and set this to false because here, I'll actually show you what it does. So true. Go ahead, file, save. If I go here, now you can see that it's smaller, but if I click C, it's going to copy the text and it's going to show it here on the right side. So I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. Let's go ahead, go to false. Go ahead, file, save. And let's exit out of there. Let's reopen up the video. Now you can see that when I click C, it doesn't pop up on this right hand side here. So we've got MPVacious working and it's all good to go. And actually there's one more thing that we have to do. As I was editing the video, I figured out that we were missing something. So go ahead, head over into your file explorer, right click down here, click file explorer, then go into this PC, go to your local C, go to your program files, navigate back into MPV. And what we're going to do here is install YouTube DL 
FN and FFmpeg, so that is going to allow you to watch YouTube videos on MPV. So this updater.bat, what you're going to do is right click and run as administrator, click yes, and then you're going to go through this script here. Go ahead and click yes here. It's going to download, we want to do YouTube at uh, YTDLP, so click one. And then it's going to go ahead and then download all of those applications that we need. And then it's going to close. If your MPV is out of date, it's going to update your MPV first. So it's going to have one more additional line on there. Just go ahead and enter what it says to do. I would recommend you update it uh, one for daily and then just continue along the same way that we did there. And you'll have FFmpeg and MPV installed. I'm sorry, you have YouTube DLP installed and then FMPEG. So for example, now if we go to YouTube, let's go ahead and just drag in a random video. We should be able to see the video in MPV now. And there we go. And so that's going to be it for MPVacious and MPV, but I'm just going to give you a quick teaser on how this, this sentence mining workflow works. So for example, if we go ahead and open up the text hooker page, clipboard insertion, also, I don't like to store lines persistently, so I take off the store lines persistently. So now if I clear clear all the lines, all the lines are gone and it's going to open up fresh each time. So for example, if I want to run, uh, if I just want to do clipboard monitoring, I open up MPVacious A and then I'm going to click T. Clipboard autocopy has been enabled. And if I just play the anime here, I'm going to go ahead and do make sure your clipboard inserter is turned on. Now it's going to run. And so I can search things up, which is awesome because you can watch anime and look things up as you go. All right, and what's to come is going to be how to get Anki installed, how to get Jito Jisho installed, and then the sentence mining workflow. So it's actually going to be a five part series. I, I keep saying four, but it's going to be a five part series. So see you in the next video if you want to get the Anki installed. And thanks for watching this one. And if you have any questions, join the Discord down below in the description and come ask them. And good luck on your journey out there.